Hey, good morning, Dexter Lake. I've been talking in recent weeks about our mind. Today I'm going to talk a little bit more about that regarding our beliefs and our feelings. Romans 12, 2, remember, says, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. It's been said that we possess what we confess. We possess salvation by confessing Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of our lives. We possess God's promises by confessing them with our mouth. When you regularly confess only what you feel and see, you are hurting your faith uh, and you're not helping uh, those negative thoughts to leave your mind. Uh, so don't use your mouth as a thermometer which only reads the temperature of your current condition, but rather allow God's word to use your mouth and turn your mouth into a thermostat which changes the temperature of your life by confessing what God says. Uh, Jesus did that in the wilderness when the enemy tempted him, as he likely tempts us, and that is through our thoughts. But Jesus didn't just merely think about the scripture. He spoke the scripture to the enemy to achieve victory during that time. So don't speak what you feel all the time. Otherwise, your mind can't change. Uh, remember, people have said, well, if you feel it, you might as well say it. No, 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 don't do that, don't do that. Learn to speak God's word instead. We can wake up in the morning on the wrong side of the bed and feel lousy. And if we're not careful, that can guide our behavior rather than scripture. So it's good to be aware of your feelings, to assess your feelings, determine where they're coming from and if they have merit or not. But then it's always important to apply the principles from God's word to address them appropriately. Lastly, I'll leave you with Psalms 1914. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, for you are our strength and our redeemer. Amen. God bless.